side gates open. Hello, George. Hello, Anne. Is Jenny home? No. Oh, well, when will she be back? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I was supposed to meet her after work today. Right. She didn't turn up. Must have forgotten. Well, it's not like her. No. I waited over an hour in the wine bar. Right. We always meet there. I know. She's not answering her mobile either. Yeah, it's been playing up. You don't sound very interested. I am. Well, where is she? Out. When will she be back? Um, not sure. Well, I don't mind waiting. I can wait for her. Uh, I'm not sure when no, she. No, I be really don't mind waiting. She might be hours. <sighs> okay. Well, could you tell her I'll call her on the landline at work tomorrow? Um, I'm not sure she'd be well enough for that. To go to work? Yeah. Well, she must be all right if she's gone away. Maybe. Would you please tell me where she is? She's gone. Gone away? Just gone. Well, where? Goodness. You don't like me, do you? I never said that. You don't know, do you? Well, I barely know you, George. Well, you know Jenny. We're old friends. You and your husband never come round for dinner. I didn't think you liked entertaining very much. I don't. Well, Jenny likes entertaining. I know. I think you should entertain more if Jenny likes it. Does she talk to you about me? No. People find me boring. Well, I'm sure that's not true. Because I don't do stuff. No, I'm not following you. Stuff. Stuff like tennis, jogging, swimming, golf. Playing in a band, amateur dramatics. I don't think anybody's going to think any less of you for not doing amateur dramatics. I've got no hobbies, no interests. I go to work, come home, have my dinner, watch TV, and then I go to bed. Well, what about weekends? A bit of gardening, that's it. George, why won't you tell me where Jenny is? I wasn't always like this. Where is she? I don't know. Well, when did you see her last? Two days ago. And where did she say she was going two days ago? I know where she's gone. I thought you said you didn't know where she was. I know where she went. I don't know where she is. George, please, just tell me where she's gone. She went somewhere I don't think she can come back from. George, just tell me where she is. You'll think I'm mad. I won't. She went through there. I'm not following you. She walked through that. What? She walked through the frame, she disappeared, and she's not come back. Okay. Well, thanks for explaining. I, oh, I, I'd better go. My husband will be wondering where I am. Would you, um, would you just tell Jenny to give me a call? I on told you you'd think I was mad. I, I don't think you're mad. You do. I can see it in your face. You're scared of me. Uh, George, I don't think you're mad. I think you're behaving a little irrationally because Jenny's been gone for two days and, and you're worried and concerned about her. But uh, genuinely, I think if she'd been missing for that long, you really ought to phone the police. OK, I'll do that. If you'll do one small thing for me. What? Walk through the frame. Why would I want to do that? To prove that I'm not lying. <sighs> OK. If I walk through that frame, you'll phone the police. Promise? I promise. I'm not playing your silly games. I knew you I'll wouldn't do it. i myself.
Morning. Morning. George Newman. Yes. DC Harding. I uh, did try the front doorbell, but no one answered. So your, your side gate was open. Oh, that's, that's fine. Uh, what can I do for you? Missing po persons report. Missing persons? Your wife. Uh, Mrs. Jenny Newman reported missing at 2100 hours last night. Oh, Jenny's my wife, but she's not missing. Excellent. False alarm. That was a lot with missing persons, actually. I'll, uh, I'll just have a, a word with you, your wife, you know, for the report. You look like you could do with a shower and a decent breakfast. <laughs> she's uh, in the house to take it. Oh, you can't see her. She's not there. She's not anywhere. She's gone. She's left you, hasn't she, sir? She hasn't left me. It's no shame in it, sir. Wives leave their husbands all the time. She has not left me for another man. Another woman? She's not left me for another woman. All right, sir, these things happen. Men with men, women with men, women. The times are a change, huh? Not in this cul-de-sac. Oh, you'd be surprised. My point is, if your wife has left you for someone else, male or female, there's no shame in it. There's nothing to be embarrassed by it. And you can confide in me. Just let me know where you think she is, or who you think she's with. And we can check it out for you. Um, plus you'll be off the hook. Hook? What hook? Just tell me what happened. Well, I haven't seen her for three days. Is it, sir? Be honest, get it off your chest. So, when was the last time you saw her? Uh, it was Monday night. Uh, I was watching the football. The Spurs game? That Deli Ali is some player. She went to the shop, she was going to get some tea bags, and she never came back. What's that? Oh, that, that, that's the start of a pergola. It's not much of a start. Uh, no, the fencing man's coming back in a few weeks to finish it off. It's a bit odd, doing one bit and leaving it. Well, Jenny wanted him to get that bit, the centre bit, just right, so it was in the right place, so the rest of it would be right. Centre bit, then right place. What are you writing that down for? Records, sir. Do you know our messes at Anne Cummings? Wife's best friend. She reported your wife missing. She said she would. You didn't. I was going to. When? Well, I was going to give it until after lunch today, and then I would report it. You know, most husbands would call the police immediately. You waited three days. Oh, we'd had an argument. I thought she'd gone to her mother's. And I thought she was playing hard to get. Mrs. Cummings said your wife had walked through a frame in the garden and disappeared as if by magic. <laughs> that's ridiculous. She said that's what you said. <laughs> no, no, I, I never did, no. Are you sure, sir? She was very definite. Well, she must have got confused. Um, she was asking me about the pergola like you were. And then I said that Jenny had vanished, and she must have thought that I'd said Jenny had vanished through the frame. Thank you, sir. Very good explanation. And would that be the frame, uh, the start of the pagola that Mrs. Cummings said you said your wife had walked through? Uh, I guess so. One more thing. Do you know the name of the fencing block that's uh, making the pagola? Ah, sorry, 
Jenny organised it. Right, here's what we're going to do, Sam. You and I are going to go into the house. We're going to go through your wife's belongings. We're going to make a list. Then you and I are going to pop down to the police station for a further chat. Well, she's at her mother's. She must be. She's not, sir. It's the first place we checked. Into the house. After you. For Mrs. Newman. She's not here. Can I help? Well, see that girt big erection that you got there? That's uh, half of a pergola, and I'm here to finish putting it up for Mrs. Newman. That'll be a bit tricky. How so? Well, in about uh, half an hour, 20 of the Met's uh, finest boys in blue will be digging up this garden. What for? Murder inquiry. Mrs. Newman's gone missing. We're looking for her body. I had no idea. I've been on my holidays. No problem. Well, look, I'll uh, I'll be off then. Oh, right, you are. Actually, can I uh, can I have my friend back? Sorry, sir. No can do. Evidence. <laughs> Evidence? What? He hit her on the head with it, did he? He? Her husband. What makes you think he's a suspect? Uh. Because you're digging up the garden. You must think you did it. Thank you, sir. Actually, good explanation. So, can I have my friend back then? Definitely not. Mr Newman said his wife walked through your frame and vanished. Not her. That's what Mr Newman said to his wife's friend. Changed his story when he spoke to me. Denied he'd ever said it in the first place. But when we charged him with murder, changed the story back again. Said his wife had walked through your frame and vanished. Well, why did he change his story in the first place, then? He said if he told me the truth, I would have thought he was mad. Hoped his wife would. Then she'll come back and everything will be okay again. I didn't want people thinking he was... Like you said, sir. I didn't want people thinking he was a nutter. Not sure that's a very PC word these days. Oh, no offence intended. None taken. Well, look, I'll, I'll just be off, yeah? Said she'd gone to populate a new world. <laughs> you... you what? At least that's what he said she'd said. Where did you get the wood? What, for the frame? Yes, sir. I got it from Jusen. She said she got it from the altar at the holy shrine of Themis. Them who's Themis? Great goddess of justice, daughter of Uranus and Gaia, most commonly associated with oracles. Well, I mean, it was on special offer at Jusen. Just echoing Mrs Newman's thoughts. Or, or at least what Mr Newman said Mrs Newman's thoughts were. He also said something strange had been happening to her over the last few months. Strange? She said she thought she was metamorphosing into someone called Pyra. She was going to walk through your frame and meet up with a chap called the Callion. Look, I'm not... I'm not following. Her, her husband in Greek mythology. She, she said she was going to populate a new world with him. She's been gone over a week. <laughs> well, I expect they've made a good start right now, haven't they? Hey, look, I'll... Uh, I'll just be off, yeah? Ovid. Ovid? Yes, sir. I know who he is. 
You do, sir? Yeah, he's a, your, um, he's, a, he's a Roman poet, isn't he? Nice one, sir. Yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it was an answer on um, Pointless yesterday, it was, yeah. If there's nothing more... Nothing more. I'll, uh, I'll just be off then, yeah? Goodbye. What time are you going to get here? I'll oh, speed it up. I don't want anybody else coming around. Oh, I've just had the fencing block over. I'll be gone by the time you get here. You know what to do, eh? Tear it down, smash it up, burn it. Yes, burn it. I want it completely destroyed. Not a trace of it left. You got that? Good. No, do the other stuff afterwards. The frame's the important part. Okay. Juicing. Fucking juicing.